Arguably the best of Robert Henry's work resulted from his travels. His so-called Irish portraits, which he executed from 1913 until the end of his career, are among his most celebrated and to this day most collectible. The same goes for his Spanish sojourns. Henry first visited Spain in the 1890s and would return throughout his career, including no fewer than seven visits in the early to mid-1920s. In Spain, Henry found himself enamored of Spanish culture, and he trained his eye on a broad cross-section of society. He captured the humanity of the country, focusing above all on individuals in their respective milieus. The diversity that he encountered in Spain finds easy parallels in the richness of New York City life. Across class, race, and profession, the subjects of the earlier part of his career. Henry was especially drawn to gypsy subculture, a subject to which he returned throughout his career. The crown jewel of the Bowden's collection is Spanish Gypsy, painted in 1924 during one of the artist's sojourns in Spain. It's only one of three known portraits the artist executed of this particular model. Although nearing the end of his career, Henry was at the height of his powers in the 1920s, on full display here in Spanish Gypsy. The woman is shown seated, bust length, her lips pursed and her arms folded neatly in front of her. Her clear eyes and penetrating gaze are framed by raven black hair, a testament to the sensitivity with which Henry captured his sitters. Passages of red in her sleeves, the ribbon in her hair, her earrings, and in her cheeks punctuate the scene. The sitter, Dolores, her name is known, returns our gaze with self-assurance. Here, Henry enlists color, not only to fill out the composition, but to express personality, and you might say, a certain authenticity. The tone of her face, neck, and arms are among the brightest elements of the composition. A simple, nondescript background directs our attention to the woman, while long streaks of color, blue and mustard yellow among them, are repeated in the painting's background. For Henry, Dolores is not a picturesque type as he may have painted earlier in his career or witnessed in the work of Velazquez or Halls, but rather he transforms the muted palette and tactile brushwork of the Spanish and Dutch masters with a keen awareness of personality and individuality. He imbues his sitter with energy and vitality, animating them through color and composition. <laughs>